Hey guys, I'm gonna show you the super easy DIY solar setup. And all you need is just four items. Let's check it out. So the first thing you need is a solar panel. This is a 275 watt panel that I got locally. It was around a hundred bucks. The second thing you need is just a cable. And these are 10 gauge cable and I'll share all the links below. The third thing you need is this grid tie inverter and so this was on Amazon for 125 bucks. And then the last thing you need to kind of keep track of everything is the smart plug. And so normally you would plug this directly into a house outlet, a dedicated, dedicated outlet if you do, but if not um, you can plug into a regular outlet and it will feed power back to the regular outlet. For the test today I'm just using an extension cord. There is an app I will show you guys. So this is the app. Right now it's producing 155 with one panel. If you want to have two panels or more, you just have to get these connectors. These, this is a two to one. If you want four panels, you can get a four to one. The links will be below. This inverter, I've had this set up for a year. I actually got it last summer. It's been working pretty well. I'm just moving the setup to where my parents are at uh, because I'm gonna try a different setup now. So, one panel, cable from the panel to the inverter, it's number two, number three is the inverter itself, number four is the smart plug, uh, and five, you can kind of watch it produce. So I've had this set up for a couple days at my parents' house, and you can kind of see two kilowatt, three kilowatt in terms of money saved. Uh, 58 cents a day 15 bucks a month roughly so I'm at the meter um, here and I'm pulling 199 from the Sun right now it's actually January in California the Sun is not its strongest but it's producing pretty well it's a 275 watt panel I'm gonna turn this off so it's off we're gonna look at the meter and see how much the house is currently pulling right now. And then once I turn it on, we should be able to tell uh, that it's really feeding uh, electricity back into the house. And so let's check it out. Okay, so typically they're using 253. I'm just gonna wait for the flash one more time. Two fifty one. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna turn it back on. It's on. So one ninety six. It says it's pulling from the sun. One ninety six. The city. We're pulling fifty eight from the city, and basically that's that's the math right there that we're looking for. Uh, the solar panels are producing about two hundred. We're pulling fifty from the city to uh, do whatever this house needs to run. If I turn it back off again, it should jump back to about 250. Two fifty. Yep, there we go. So yeah, this is basically just saying, hey, it works, man. Um, it's generating power, it's going back into the house and whatever power it's generating, your house is using and it's not pulling that power from the city. Hey folks, so thanks for watching. That was uh, pretty quick and dirty, but hopefully it gave you a rough idea on how to set yours up. You don't really need any technical experience, just kind of set everything up the way it kind of showed you and it should work without any issues. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you put them in the comments. One thing I do want to note now is that the panel has to be in the correct VOC for the grid tie inverter to make sure everything works. And so when you're looking for panels, make sure you find it locally, uh, use one if possible uh, to save you on costs. This whole setup cost me less than 400 bucks and so Basically, there's nothing cheaper or easier to do as far as setting up your solar. But at the end of the day, you are playing with electricity, so just make sure you play with it at your own risk. Thanks for watching, and if it was useful to you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Thanks. Bye.